Hey, welcome back. So my compressor died, the motor windings cooked themselves and now I get a ground fault with running it. A little problem. So already got a new one. This one is 10 years old and the, <laughs> this compressor doesn't owe me anything. I, I ran it way over its spec, mistreating its allowed duty cycle by a lot. But now that it's dead, I want to look inside. How, how much wear there is after 10 years. These are silent compressors and they are not oil lubricated. So I'm really curious after 10 years how the inside of these look. I, I'm not sure how these work. The, the spec says that it's a very short stroke piston compressor, but I don't know. So let's have a, let's, this won't be a, <laughs> this will be a destructive teardown. I, I, I don't I don't need this pump anymore. So all of these parts will go into scrap after I'm done. Um, this is a 700 watt motor, single phase 230 volt. And of course this type of motor requires a capacitor to run to create the, the phase offset, the 90 degree phase offset to run an induction motor. And uh, that's something that dies very often, but not in this case. So on this side, we have a air filter, the intake filter with, uh, this can be opened. And to be honest, I never, <laughs> this is the first time I look inside this filter. That should give you an idea how much um, maintenance I put into this thing. But the, the air filter, <laughs> Apart from having not very much filter media in there, uh, there's some rigid piping between the two cylinder heads. Yep, that one was seized. Here we go. For a second I was thinking to keep the screws. I thought they were stainless, but nope regular steel. Still might keep them. Apart from this one that has seized in the in the thread. So yeah, we'll keep the screws. Oh okay, Th these are coming apart quite easy. So this is the cylinder head with a little bit of a gasket around here. A few chambers, I, I suspect air intake and this goes to the uh, to the tank. These are the valves. This is just a piece of spring steel and I'll be darned it's really a, a piston compressor. Oop. Um, <laughs> oh wow these are primitive. This is the piston and the piston is mounted rigid to the connecting rod so it doesn't adjust for the angular error in there, but <laughs> they are sealing it with a... Oh, that's funny. So when it goes up and down, ooh, it's of course tilting back and forth like this. It's the rocking motion. Normally on a, on a car engine you would have a, a connecting rod pin connecting the piston to the con uh, connecting rod to allow the angular uh, misalignment. But on these compressors, it seems like since the, the, the piston is so narrow and has only one, one elastic seal around it, so it's tilting back and forth in the bore which is quite fascinating. Remember, this compressor is 10 years old and it ran completely without any external lubrication. This is the cylinder. There is nothing else in here. Literally no sign of wear and I think it's aluminium. Yeah, that's aluminium. And by the color of it, I would suspect it's hard anodized or hard coated. This is funny. These are, wow, it's, this thing is super primitive. But at the same time, it's kind of a beautiful design um, in its simplicity and ruggedness. Let's get the piston off. Ooh. 
Okay, the the piston itself. Ah, oh, uh, I see, I see. Oh, that's funny. Ah, that's even better. This is getting. I lo I love tearing down stuff that's that I don't have to put back together. Just to learn about it. Let's get the the cooling fan off here. It's just a snap ring. And this is a very <laughs> this is super soft plastic. Okay, uh, that's that's interesting too. There's a counterweight to the to the con rod and piston assembly, so it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't shake its own universe apart. Yeah, there's a set screw. I'm surprised how well this is. Um, I, I, I was about to say, oh, I'm surprised how well this comes apart until, until the set screw happened. Wow. Let's see if the impact will uh, change its mind. Ooh. Um. This set screw is, is put there in with. Huh, I. I I'm, <laughs> wow, that's the strongest set set screw that I've ever encountered. The stinky little Milwaukee 12, uh, 12 volt impact wrench has enough grunt to loosen the bolts of my. Uh, the wheel, wheel bolts of my car, but it. it <laughs> doesn't. doesn't. Um, the set screw something else. Let's try again. Ah, that's a cool thing about um, impact wrenches. If you stay persistent, it will eventually rattle things loose. Is there a second set screw in there? Oh yeah, they're, they. <laughs> that, that's uh, that's evil. They stacked set screws. There is one set screw. Clamping against the shaft and a second set screw locking the other one in place. So, oh, by the way, impact wrench, please. Uh, you, oh, this one is as tight as the other one. Oh, okay, this was easier. And now this is probably a press fit from hell. Let's put a, a hole in here and use a, a slide hammer to pull it off. As I mentioned, this is a destructive teardown. <laughs> Whoops. And M8 tap. Okay. Let's see if we can slide hammer this off. I'm not exactly too fond about getting the, the gear puller set and trying to get it in here. So let's see. There we go. Oh, <laughs> pulled the entire crank off the shaft. Yeah, and the rest is just the electric motor that I don't know anything about. <coughs> These are the, in, the essential parts of the compressor. We have the con rod, connecting rod, with the piston as one casting, plus this keeper plate that holds the the seal in place. We have the crankshaft with the with the crank bearing. Ooh. Well, yeah, uh, I damaged that. Cylinder, which is just a piece of aluminium pipe that has been machined. Yeah, it has been turned on the inside. And I guess hard anodized. And the plate. Oh, it's not plastic. It's it's some some light alloy too, so aluminium or magnesium. With the with the valves, so that's all that's to this compressor, and it worked for ten years. So the crankshaft is a cool design. It's just this. This looks like gray cast iron for the crank itself. 
uh, pressed on large radial a deep groove radial bearing, a 6008 bearing, and the the connecting rod with the piston is just just clamped. Oh my! Just clamped by by means of the slit here. Uh, it broke here when I took it apart. So yeah, super simple parts to make. Uh, die cast. This retainer plate for the seal die cast. The valve plate here die cast with these valves being stamped parts probably. Uh, off the shelf bearing. The crank is a casting, gray cast iron probably. And this the cylinder itself is aluminium, probably pipe with minor machining and post-processing. The outside of the of the cylinder is just a piece of extrusion. Cut to length. Oh no, this is die cast too. This is not extrusion. Some plastic mo injection molded parts. The cylinder heads are die cast. So yeah, very interesting to see how simple this compressor is built and how well it held up over, over the years before. Of all things, I didn't expect the single phase induction motors to die. But it is what it is. I already have replacement in. Another silent compressor. Same, same design as this. Just a little bit of a nicer one. Hope you enjoyed this very quick destructive teardown. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back.